Aloha. Today I'm finishing building a brand new banana tree bed back here. Uh, I'm just finishing this up. I've got my three banana trees here I'm going to plant back here that I got from the property. Um, and this has all been prepared and it's ready to plant these trees. So I already cleared the entire area, dug out all the roots, rocks, stumps, sifted, uh, not sifted, but loosened up the soil. I added extra soil, added extra mulch, compost, fertilizer, and I mixed it all up and now it's ready to plant these three banana trees back here. And this will eventually fill into a nice banana forest. So I took videos throughout the whole process of me cleaning it up and digging out everything and getting all the stumps out and roots and all that stuff and preparing this bed for bananas. So I'll go ahead and show you that now. Alrighty, I am cleaning everything up here, getting all these twigs. There was a pile of old trees here, cleaning all that up, grabbing some bigger logs and stacking them around into a nice large square, which will be the banana bed. A lot more work than you think. We've got uh, overgrown guava trees everywhere, just wild guava. See here, this is all wild guava. It's so thick, what happens is that they're a mat basically forms on top of the soil, a little bit of soil that's there with all the roots. So it's just a complete blanket. Nothing really much can get through. So if you plant bananas on top of that, it's gonna be hard for them to get down in there and get the nutrients they want. So I remove, I dug out a couple stumps. I'm gonna dig out all these roots, get it nice and clean. Before we start adding soil, compost, and mulch in here. Alrighty, we're moving the big log over to finish the square. Got the shape now of the new banana bed pretty much laid out. Just got to finish getting all these roots and rocks out of here. It's a slow process with all these roots. Gonna have a stop here for a quick dance and then back to work. You can see here all the roots. I'm digging all this dirt around getting it all out and then cutting off the roots piece by piece. I already took a lot out. It's just super thick. That's a huge pile of roots right there. Slow and steady process. This took a long time because of how many roots and rocks and stumps were in this area. I always think, yeah, this is going to go pretty quick. Let me just get this done real quick. Then it's a three-day project. These are all wild guava tree roots. All right, we got a new angle here. As I continue to completely dig up this new banana bed, get out all the roots, rocks, stumps. The chickens come in here to help me. Tongue came to say hi with the doggies. getting closer and closer. Alright, just got done digging everything out. I got all the logs here out of the way, stacked. I put logs around it and then dug out and broke up all the rocks, dirt. Got rocks here rocks and then tons and tons of roots so many roots i think it's all fun and games until you try to plant a banana tree where a bunch of wild guavas were growing 
This is all the wild koalas, the yellow koalas. It's freaking pain. And there's a large rock here in the corner. So, all the dirt's piled up there. All right, I'm all done cleaning it out. I've got a bunch of rocks I dug out of here, broke up. Tons and tons of roots. This thing had so many roots, it was just ridiculous. And there's a large rock here, but I'm not gonna even try to break it out because I just don't care. I'm gonna put two banana trees in the back and one up front, and they'll spread out and fill, and I'll like build up with mulch and mound, and they'll just grow on top of the rock. So, that was exhausting, like, extremely. Dripping sweat, that's your workout. I'm gonna now spread this out even, and then I'm gonna add a ton of cinder so it has drainage because I've got some swamp water, not swamp water, but I got some swamp mud um, from a pond that just has dried up. I want to get the mud out of there so it's really gooky. Uh, that's the right word. So I'm gonna have cinder down mixed with that swampy mud and that will create a nice soil for the bananas to grow in. And with, also I'm gonna mix in compost, mulch, a couple different kinds of mulch, composted mulch, compost, chicken manure, cinder, uh, all that kind of stuff. And then get it mixed in and plant the banana tree. Well, technically, two banana trees, and then a third later. No time now. All right, I'm leveling out all the dirt. Then the chicken's going to come in here and make sure there's no worms or bugs in here or anything food-like while I go and grab some mulch. All right, I've got the black cinder here, which helps with drainage and also provides a space for microbes to live. All right, I just put cinder down with the banana area and this is kind of like a swampy pondy area that fills up with water when it rains and there's a bunch of mucky mud in here. I want to get this out of here and eventually turn this into a pond. So I'm going to take all this mud and sprinkle it in there with the cinder and stuff in the new banana bed. And that will turn into real nice soil, worms, chickens, everything will get around there, mix it all up, um, and it'll be just fine for bananas. So if you got a big swampy area, it's a great way to repurpose it, is to take that, mix it with cinder, plant some bananas in there. All right, we're grabbing the mud and dumping some of that mud in there on top of the cinder. After I'm done putting everything in here I want, I will be mixing it all up real good. And we're losing daylight. Here comes the night. All right, we're losing daylight fast, but I'm gonna keep getting this mud out of the pond. This is the best time to work when it's nice and cool as the sun goes down. It's a mucky mess, but gotta be done. And the sun's back out. We're going to go ahead and continue getting this mud out. I don't need all of it, but I'm going to grab as much as I need out of here for the new banana bed. All right, you can see a lot of work went into this. Um, it's a challenge building a new bed here because there's so many guava trees overgrown they just create a mat over the top of like the inch or two of soil that's here and then it's just like an inch of roots and it's really hard to get through so that's why i dug everything up got that out of there so the banana roots can get down easily and start growing quickly and get this looking like a nice banana forest in no time so everything's prepared we're all ready to go ahead and plant these banana trees and get them watered and get them growing all right let's get to planting
got my three banana trees planted. Now I'm going to go ahead and give them some water so they are nice and moist so they can start rooting and growing. planted, watered, ready to start growing. Again, I added some cinder into here for some drainage. I added extra soil, which is actually some mud out of my pond area I was trying to get rid of. I added compost, mulch, fertilizer, uh, mixed everything up, and some lime to help adjust the pH here because everything's acidic. So yeah, the only thing left to do now is I'm going to put some logs around them just so the chickens can't dig them out because they love to do that with freshly planted plants. And then other than that, I'm just going to add a ton more mulch periodically um, until these get going and then once they're growing good lots of mulch lot of fertilizer bananas are super heavy feeders they want tons of mulch and tons of fertilizer so it's hard to give them too much you can even pee on them every day not a problem alrighty there you have it that's building a brand new uh, banana tree bed from scratch eventually turning this into a banana forest back here as long as that side, I'm going to do one over there. So this whole thing is just one big banana forest. Maybe put a bathtub back here so you can sit, take a bath, look at the banana forest. Maybe put some pretty lights in it. Who knows? Alrighty, there you have it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Aloha. Alright, it's been a few weeks. The banana trees are starting to grow. These two just came right up. If you cut the banana tree 100% off and plant it, it'll just kind of regrow out through the top. Both of those did that just fine. Got some nice new leaves coming up. Chickens are already starting to dig it out, of course. Same with that one. This one, though, was too old. It sat out for like a couple months, so it, it didn't grow out the top, but it grew out some new ones out the bottom. So we got a new banana tree here and a new banana tree there. So this will actually be two right away. And as you can see, there's not any leaves because the chickens like to come up and eat the fresh young banana leaves. Thank you so much, chickens. I appreciate that. So once the thing gets tall enough that the chickens can't eat the leaves, then it will actually be happy and really take off.